Hello Code Simplifier Tribes, Bess is here from Code Simplifier Coding School with another CH tutorials for beginner programmers. In our last tutorial, we learned how to reset and clear fields data. If you haven't seen that video yet, I recommend going back and watch it to keep up with today's session. With no more talk, let's get down to business. If you recall from our last video, we wrote a logic to set the focus to the order cost box after pressing the calculate button. And this is our order cost box focus. We need to handle two conditions here. First of all, ensure the order cost box is not empty. Then we need to ensure the value that the customer is going to insert to that box is valid. Let's take care of the first condition, then we will move on. Here we need to keep going with our else if condition. And here we need to ensure string dot is null or empty. Where are we targeting? We are targeting our order cost box dot text. And here we have, let's cut this section. Insert it here. But what this condition does, it just sets a focus to the field. We need to just let the customer or the client know where is the problem and what kind of problem they are facing. So we are creating an error message. We are calling dialog message. Message dialog, sorry, I forgot it. what the error message is going to be or the cost box cannot be blank and then we are going to show the error message and here is the focus and because it's empty we don't need to select everything so that is save just review what we have done so we're continuing on with our else if condition we are checking if the order cost box value is empty or not if that is the case that means it's empty we created this error message we called our message dialog class we wrote this message to be shown to the client then we showed the error message as a pop-up screen and here is we set the focus to the order box to let the customer know or the client where was the problem. Let's test it out. Here is our application. We enter our name, our phone number, and here is the order cost box. I leave it empty. So when I press calculate, it says the order cost box cannot be blank. That means our logic works. And when you are closing it, the focus goes back to the order cost. When you are resetting the values, everything will be cleared off. The focus goes back to the customer name. Here is the second thing we are going to check and I'm going to show you for a second. And that is if the client enter a value or the input, if it is not number, nothing happens. That means there is nothing going on, but we need to handle that. We need to ensure the value that goes to the order cost is actually numerical. Let's see how does that work. Within your calculate button method, above all of our logics, we need to initialize some variables. The type of the variable we are going to declare is double and we are going to call it order cost with no value. We just initialize it and I'll explain what is going on here. So after our last else if a statement, which was checking the order cost box is not empty, we are going to call the order cost equals to double dot parse. And within that parenthesis, we are going to cause the order cost box, whatever the value is and read it. Before we run our application, I want to explain what is going on. The double is the type of value that we are expecting from our order cost box. The main reason we didn't give it any initial value here is because we this is a dynamic and that means the client is going to enter value which will be equal to this 
variable here. That's why we didn't uh, initialize any value to it. Here we call it, we said the order cost box, whatever it is, the type of it is going to be double. And I'll explain what double looks like. And just if I make the job easy. This is a double number. This is a digit number. And that is a difference. The decimal, the double values, they have decimal. That's the only difference. Then we're getting the information or reading the value from this order cost box. So now let's run our application and see what will happen. So you restart your application. We enter our name, our phone number, and here instead of a value, I'm just writing down hello. And when you press calculate, you see we have an exception here. So what is going on here and how could we fix that problem? The main problem is instead of the double value or numerical value, the client enter a string and we don't expect a string. And because the system expecting a numerical value instead of a string, it confused and didn't know what to do. That's why the program crashed. The way we can handle that exception or that error or that problem is using a try catch. How does try catch works? I'm going to explain to you how it does work. Before starting writing the logics, let's see how try catch works. Imagine you are trying to cash out some money from your account. And let's say the amount you are asking is greater than what's in your account. What will happen? You will get a similar message like insufficient balance. How does try catch relate to that? First, the system tries to give you the requested amount. But after checking the balance, it reveals there is not enough money in your account. Therefore, it shows you an error message instead of blocking your account or crash the system. In our case, we want to check if the value entered by the client is numerical or not. If it is not, we want to let them know instead of letting the program to crash. Now, let's go and see how can we apply that logic into our program. Above the code where the problem appeared, we write down try, open and close curly braces. We have catch, open and close parentheses, and within the catch, parentheses we are going to write down exception then we are cutting off this piece of code within our try we are going to try this one out within our catch statement we are going to create an error message error message new message dialog the error message is going to be invalid cost format then we have a wait we are showing the error message as a pop-up message screen on the screen then we are going to set the focus of uh, cost or the cost box dot set sorry focus within that is going to be focus state and is going to be programmatic here we need to set the focus or select everything the client has entered in the order cost box in order to fix it then we have a return and save the work so what is going on here first we are telling the system hey try to read the value from the order cost box if that is not a double as expected, we are creating this error message. The error message will be shown here. Then the value, uh, the focus goes back to the order cost box. We select whatever the client has entered in the order cost box and we're returning it. So this is how we are handling our error message. Let's run our application and ensure everything works just fine. Here's our application. As per usual, we need to enter our name, the phone number, and here the order cost. I just want to write something which is not a numerical value. So when you press the calculate, we get invalid cost format. And when you're closing it, the focus goes back to the order cost and select everything that the user has entered in that value. So when we put one, two, three, or 120, and when you calculate, nothing gonna happen because we didn't go that far. So that means our try and catch 
statement works. Now we need to go back and recap today's work and that will finish up today's video. So what happened here? We initialized a value as a double that is where we are getting the order cost and set it to this value here. In our try statement or in our try block, we assign the value returned value to the order cost which it comes from the order cost box. That means whenever the customer is going to enter a price, we are going to assign that value, whatever it is, to this order cost, which is a double. Then, if we are receiving any value from the, our client, which is not a double or integer, that doesn't really matter, we are going to handle the exception or handle the invalid value. How are we going to do that? By creating this error message, showing it on the screen, set the focus to the box in our case is or the cost box and then we are going to select everything that the user or the client has entered and then we are going to return the value back to the system that or terminate our statement that is how it works this is how the try catch is helping us to avoid any unexpected behavior from our application and avoid any crashing the application that will wraps up today's video if this video was helpful to you and you are new to this channel, please do us a favor, like this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to our channel. By subscribing and liking our videos, you are giving us confidence to do more educational video and share with others like this video you saw today. And as per usual, if you have any question, stalk along the way, write down your concern in the comment section below and I'll respond to them as quick as I can. With that being said, that comes to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did and I look forward to the next video with more CH development for new beginners. Thank you very much and I will see you next time.